It's been a very long time since we talked last about what was going on with Sarah's health regarding long COVID and no taste or smell. Parosmia is what that's called. We have gone through a lot since then to try and fix that problem, but also fix some other problems that we didn't even mention in the last video because you were kind of in denial. Yeah, I was kind of like the taste and smell was like something that people talked about experiencing, yeah. but the other symptoms, I think I just was kind of ignoring them, but pretty much right after that video is when they kind of hit a whole new low and it was pretty debilitating. A lot of brain fog, memory problems, fatigue, but this was like on a whole other level of yeah. wasn't just being tired. It was like I was Dory from Finding Nemo. I had racing heart, I was short of breath, like Yeah, it was bad. I mean she could barely list. go down the hall. You know, this kind of stuff happens slowly that you don't realize, oh wait, you can't do anything anymore without having like some kind of mental crisis or something. It was it was really weird. Having and a lot of like panicky episodes yeah. about nothing. We did a lot of research and tried to find out maybe what the cause of this is and uh, it led us down the rabbit hole of to this guy who is from Bryan, Texas, which is like an hour outside of Houston. And so we flew there. The theory behind this procedure that we had done, these symptoms are caused by your nervous system stuck in this fight or flight loop. Like basically nervous system dysfunction. Like your body has gone through so much stress. It's just in this feedback loop of like, oh, nonstop fight or flight. So it messes with your digestion. It messes with all this stuff. That made enough sense to us that we were committed to fly out there. It really seemed like the answer to me because when I looked at all of my symptoms, I was like, this is it. This is the only thing that explains everything. So the name of the procedure is the SGB or stellate ganglion block. And it's basically just an injection in your neck of lidocaine and sometimes a mild steroid they sp is put in there and they just numb a nerve. I'm not really like it's sure like a, what a nerve conglomerate it is. of nerves there that kind of controls between the brain and the rest of your body. It just basically, yeah. it temporarily shuts down your sympathetic nervous system so that your autonomic nervous system can come back on. And it's in charge of like regulating your heart rate and your digestion, digestion and, and just things like that that are just happening normally. Yeah, but I didn't know what to expect because I'm in the room and you know, he's fishing around trying to find this this spot and you who's getting the injection all of a sudden is just, it's like the most calm that a person can be outside of sleeping on their Helix mattress. Being that relaxed is seriously the weirdest feeling, and I'll tell you all about it, but first let's tell you about our sponsor, Helix. Helix has supported our channel for well over two years now, and I cannot thank them enough for what they've done for us and helping us pay for these unforeseen trips to Texas and these procedures and stuff. It's really, really helped a ton. We are so thankful for them. Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses to fit your unique needs and preferences based on your body type and sleep style. With a lot of options for mattresses on their site, how they fit you with the perfect mattress for you is really unique, fun, and doesn't take long at all. They've developed a sleep quiz, which is newly revamped. So if you've already taken it before, go ahead and take it again because it is somehow so much more fun. Sarah and I could not agree on what mattress to get because we both are different sleepers. I am an unfortunate stomach sleeper and Sarah is a side sleeper. We both like different kinds of mattresses. And anyways, we took the Helix sleep quiz and we got matched with the perfect mattress for us. Their Helix Sunset Luxe mattress was delivered right to our door for free because we are in the US after all, and it was so easy to unbox. It just comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set it up. If it makes you a little nervous to buy something online that you haven't tried yet, don't worry because Helix has a 100 night sleep trial, so you get more than three months to make sure that it's the perfect fit for you. And if for some reason you don't love it, they'll pick it up and you'll get a full refund. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10-year warranty, and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans, so the perfect night's sleep is literally available for everyone. I also love their weighted blankets. I sleep with mine every night. I've never even used it, to be honest, because she's so addicted to it. We love our Helix, and we think that you will too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. You can click the link down below or go to helixsleep.com 
Jordan Taylor for up to $200 off your mattress and two free dream pillows. They are a dream. That's helixsleep.com slash Jordan Taylor. Check it out. Now, let's uh, get back to how weird that, that experience was for you. It was very, very weird. So your whole body feels so incredibly relaxed. We're shutting off adrenaline, shutting off norepi, shutting off cortisol releases. I thought I could take a nap right now. <laughs> Do you really? You suddenly yeah. feel calm. You suddenly feel relaxed. You feel like I want to take a nap. That's shutting off sympathetic, allowing parasympathetic to come on board. Even like your lungs and your vocal cords feel relaxed. So you can breathe, but it almost feels like it's hard to breathe because you're so relaxed. I like you though, like kind of sleepy. It feels like there's a huge shit to up in my throat, but I read that was normal. <laughs> And then I answered a question and my voice came out and it did not sound like my <laughs> voice. So that was really weird. Like your yeah. vocal cords are so relaxed. It looked like too relaxed. So mm -hmm. I was a little happy to be coming out of it. But it felt like systems in my body were just like turning back on. Like mm -hmm. they had been off for a while. So that was a really strange sensation. I don't really know how to describe it. Well, it sounded like all of a sudden your stomach like started growling like instantly. It yeah, was weird. So like it I was, could hear it from across the room. Yeah, I felt like my digestive system just like flipped on like a like a switch yeah. got flipped and it wasn't like oh it was like my stomach is rumbling and i need to like run to the bathroom it was nothing like that i don't really know how to describe it except it just felt like it just turned on one thing that was kind of confusing was that after you had come back to and you were like just normal again we went back to the hotel and your taste was seemed like it was better. What's it taste like? Is These are so... my strawberry flavored amino acids and they tasted so bad like that like grimace. The first sip tasted good. Now I'm starting to taste like a little bit of a bad aftertaste, but like I couldn't drink, like to get this down, I had to mix it with other stuff. And then she would just chug it as and fast as possible. And then I st still didn't taste good, but this like is just gagging. straight. And so we were like, oh wow, great. This is, this is awesome. This is gonna work, but then mm -hmm. as the time went on, you realized. That was actually the only thing that tasted normal after the procedure. Pretty much everything else, like the week after, tasted and smelled 10 times worse than before. Which I don't think is normal with this procedure. It's no, so I've never weird. heard anybody else say this. It was pretty uh, disappointing, I guess, because I think I was focusing too much on that. Um, and so I wasn't noticing all the other positive changes that were happening. And so mm -hmm. looking back once I got home and was like, I was kind of, kind of bummed. But then you actually mentioned, you were like, yeah. Sarah, you seem different. Like you seem different. And so mm -hmm. I started thinking back and I was like, oh wow. There were a lot of things that pretty much cleared up instantly. So one was my hair was falling out like so much. And from the day after the procedure, my hair was not falling out. My digestion instantly, about 24 hours afterward, was mm -hmm. like completely normal again. I didn't feel panicked. Yeah, you, like it's hard to describe what it was like talking to you before the procedure and after the procedure. Before it was like, it didn't feel like you were really there. But then after that, it get, felt like you were more present, mm -hmm. which was, I forgot how much I missed that. And then I got really excited because I was like, I really sat down and made a list of all the things I had been struggling with and then all the things that were better. I felt like within two weeks after the procedure, I was probably back at 75%. And then now we're a month later, I would say I'm 95 to 99%. Really the only thing that's left is things still smell off, although mm -hmm. that has improved since that week following. But it's like back to an amount that doesn't really bother me too much. Like garlic is still kind of gross. So one thing that we're trying to do that that the doctor told us um, when we were there was if this doesn't work for you, because it doesn't work for everybody, like with the taste and smell. He was like, what you can do is this breathing treatment, this breathing method called the Wim Hof method. And I was like, dude, I've done that. Like I know exactly what that is. I understand it. So when me and Sarah went home, uh, we started to do it. I mean, I basically just fall asleep. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but for you, what's weird is when you do it, your taste and smell changes it's like right I, after it. Well, I get like when I'm doing the breathing, it has like a flavor, which is really strange. Like that's it doesn't not, make any sense. That's not what happens to normal people. But <laughs> it's like it has a flavor and a smell to it. It's not an unpleasant flavor or smell. I can't mm -hmm. really describe it, but it's just weird that I like get this 
taste and smell when I do the breathing exercises. But I was very consistent for about two weeks and I think that that is what got me from that 75% to the 95 to 99%. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like exercise for your nervous system. Wim Hof does the cold showers and so it's just the idea is to stress your body just like exercise. You stress your body, you get stronger. If you do cold showers, then your body gets stronger to stressors. If you do this breathing treatment, which is actually kind of stressful while you're you're doing it you all of a sudden feel extremely calm afterwards it's like your level of tolerance for this stuff goes up and that is supposed to help with like this fight or flight kind of like it takes a lot more to get you to that state of like the point of no return because basically how the doctor described it is like if you had a trauma to your nervous system mm -hmm. before this happened which i had explained to him my history of lyme disease and all of that and he was like that could do it that could yeah. be why this didn't work 100 percent for you he suggested this and that's what we're doing now and it's definitely helping i kind of wish that i had put these two things together before so i could have done the yeah started doing the breathing before my procedure, I think it would have maybe even gone better. So if this is definitely something you're going through some of these symptoms, I would say go ahead and start the breathing on the on the free app. And there's a couple of YouTube videos that I that I follow. It's mm -hmm. like the beginner ones. We'll link to all of it. But I get started on that and then as far as the SGB, I like I said, right the treatment. after yeah, at right after I was a little bit like discouraged, but as time went on, it was 100% worth it. Yeah, so we'll link to all that information down below. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, comment down below and we will try to respond as best as we can. We're not experts in this, but we're just trying to figure this out as we go. Um, so yeah, pray for us guys. Okay, this has been this has been a big thing that's been going on. We haven't uploaded much recently because all this has been going on. So thank you for being patient. And uh, yeah, hopefully this all the stuff works for you. All right, <laughs> see ya.